particularly a Lutheran church. Announcements as always. First of all, most important, there is a coffee hour after service this morning downstairs. And that for reminder, there is a sign up sheet in the back on the table. Coffee hour will be the first Sunday of each month. We are looking for somebody to sign up and be in charge. No, you do not have to bake everything. You are in charge, you set up, people will bring food to you. Last day for sign up for flowers for Easter. I have to have that in by tomorrow. Um, community Easter egg hunt will be here on Saturday from 10 to 12. There was one here yesterday from Sunday School who was well attended. Everyone had a wonderful time. And thank you, ladies, for your work. Worship services for this week. Thursday is at Faith at 7. Here, Friday at 2. Posting held at 7, I believe, the Senior Bulletin. And there will be, I say, Friday here at 2. Saturday, there will be an Easter vigil at Posting Hill. We're all invited there. Sorry. Update on Carol. Yes, she is still in rehab up in Pleasantdale. She's coming along. She really is looking to get out of there. I don't blame her, I think so. So if you, you know, have a chance to send her a card, I know she appreciates Music Fest, the 29th. If you know anybody that is interested in participating, please let me know. There are sheets on the back, or flyers on the back table, or will be after service. Anybody that would like to take one, please help yourself. <coughs> Other announcements? Enjoy your worship.
Our service begins with the confession, which is found on page 98 in the front of your green hymnal. I'm going to find that and rise as you are able. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, God, who is faithful and just, will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Most merciful God, we confess that we are bondage to sin and cannot free ourselves. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Forgive us, renew us, and lead us, so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Almighty God in his mercy has given his Son to die for us and for his sake forgives us all our sins. As a called and ordained minister of the Church of Christ and by his authority, and therefore declare to you the entire forgiveness of all your sins in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. You may share that as you're comfortable with those things. So we're going to do something a little different than you. You can celebrate, Al. We're going to be filing that. Also, your hymnal, you're going to need both. Uh, if you look at, let me just explain what we're going to do. I'm going to get Owen to help me, and maybe some other people want to want to come and process with the choir, and they will go once or twice around the sanctuary when everybody's singing. Uh, but we're going to start, you can, you can be seated for now. Once you start singing, if you want, we can... You can stand up. So uh, you see, if you see the procession of palms here, what's going to be different is the gospel reading there in the middle, right after the first Hosanna in the highest. We're actually going to do that at the regular gospel time. So I'm just going to tell the story a little bit with Owen, what's going on. Most of us probably know we're here to celebrate Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem at the beginning of Holy Week. And then we're going to do that prayer. So you want your palms ready, so when we say blessed, when I say blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest, it's a good time to raise your, raise your palm. I'll do that prayer, and then we're going to sing, Oh glory, Lord, is honor, and then we turn over to the next page, and at the end of the hymn, we're going to do together, I'll say blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord, and once again, Hosanna in the highest. So, if you can sing and raise your palms at the same time, too, great if you can't understand. But anyway, if I can get one, Robin, are you going to help me, too? Or come over here. Who does the back? You got your palms here? We got, we got palms. Uh, so, you know, uh, it's called Palm Sunday. This is a palm. Uh, you got palms. Uh, not the same as a palm on your hand. So, a uh, palm Sunday is like a parade. Have you ever seen a parade? Maybe on TV or something. They have marching bands and maybe fire trucks and people marching. And it's kind of like a parade. They didn't have fire trucks back then. And the parade is all about Jesus. And the people are really happy to see Jesus coming into the city. And they say something that's kind of funny. Can you read? It's a foreign word there. It's Hosanna in the Heights. Have you ever said Hosanna before? Probably not. <laughs> I'm going to talk a little bit about what Hosanna means in the center, but it's a way to welcome Jesus and say, kind of say, yay, Jesus, and they said, Hosanna. And so that's going to be hard enough. We're going to have to say a couple times, Hosanna in the highest. Can you say that one? Hosanna in the highest. Very good. Well, here's our first time. Hey, boy, you want to follow along and celebrate? Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. The Lord be with you. It's all with you. You let us pray. We praise you, O God, for redeeming the world through our Savior, Jesus Christ. Today he entered the Holy City.
city in triumph and was proclaimed Messiah and king by those who spread garments and branches along his way. Bless these branches and those who carry them. Grant us grace to follow our Lord in the way of the cross, so that joy with his death and resurrection, we enter into life with you. Through the same Jesus Christ who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. In the name Amen. of Christ. Amen. So now if you want to stand up with us in all glory to one another, and those who are willing, we're going to pray it out of church for us.
The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. Thank you. 
my ear to listen to those who are taught. The Lord God has opened my ear, and I was not rebellious. I did not turn backward. I gave my back to those who struck me, and my teeth to, to those who pulled out the beard. I did not hide my face from insult and spitting. The Lord God helps me. Therefore, I have not been disgraced. Therefore, I have shut my face like flint, and I know that I shall not be put to shame. He who vindicates me is near. Who will contend with me? Let us stand up together. Who, who are my adversaries? Let them confront me. It is the Lord God who helps me. Who will declare me guilty? Here ends the first lesson. Immediately. 
This took place to fulfill what had been spoken through the prophet, saying, Tell the daughter of Zion, look, your king is coming to you, humble and mounted on a donkey and on a colt, the foal of a donkey. The disciples went and did as Jesus had directed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and put their cloaks on them and sat on them. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, and others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds that went ahead of him and followed were shouting, Hosanna to the Son of David. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. When he entered Jerusalem, the whole city was in turmoil, asking, Who is this? The crowds were saying, This is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth in Galilee. This is the gospel of the Lord.
you remember that and there were no parades and there were in fact there were even no public worship services. And right here in Gilead, we were still in the process of learning how to do online worship and uh, we were trying to do it with a minimum number of people so, so not to expose too many people potentially to COVID. Well, it was a difficult time. It was a trying time. And if I remember right in that Palm Sunday, there were only four of us here in the sanctuary doing that online Palm Sunday service. And here's something else I remember about that, that, about that Palm Sunday. People in this congregation, they took all the palms that we couldn't use in worship, and they folded them into crosses. And they sent them out to all the members of the congregation and anybody else who wanted them. Now, that may seem like a little thing, a trivial thing, but to me it was an amazing witness from this congregation that we will remain faithful and be firm in our faith no matter what. Even in the midst of hardship and distress at what, what was then the unknown. And each of those crosses reminded people that Jesus was with them and always will be, no matter what. There's no getting around it. We've been through some difficult times. So maybe it's good that once again we can join in the crowds in Jerusalem and raise those palm branches and join that festival shout, Hosanna in the highest. In fact, let's say it together. You ready? Hosanna in the highest. And again. Hosanna in the highest. And palm branches, uh, this is something we don't really catch the context of. The reason they did palm branches, they're a symbol of resistance to foreign oppression in ancient Israel. And Hosanna, well, was a ritualized greeting that they would say at the coronation of a new king. Hosanna literally means, save us now. And I think they actually would pronounce it Hosanna. But, you know, that transliterated by Hosanna. Hoshiana, save us now, son of David. Hoshiana, save us now in the power of the highest heaven. And that's exactly what Jesus did. Now, they didn't do it by inciting an iron rebellion, which is probably what most of the folks in the town expected. And he didn't do it by calling down the hosts of heaven to drive the foreign pressures from Jerusalem. Maybe the disciples thought he was going to do that. He did it by giving himself for us. Betrayed and arrested for us. Tried and unjustly convicted for us. Denied or released by the crowd to scream for his blood for us. It was probably the same people who were shouting at Hosanna earlier in the week. Beaten and bloody finally crucified to suffer a humiliating public death reserved for the worst criminals in the Roman world for us. St. Paul in 2 Corinthians even wrote that he who knew no sin became sin for us. And as we heard in that second reading this morning, St. Paul wrote, Let the same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus, who though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be exploited, but emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, being born in human likeness, and being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on the cross. Now, we can follow Jesus. We know the story doesn't end there. But let's not jump quite yet to that joyous conclusion. For this week, let's stay in a place of uncertainty, in a place of anxiety before the cross, in the contemplation of the tomb. Be strong now. Knowing <coughs> that Jesus took our place, and in these times of our own uncertainty, our own worries, our own frustrations, know this. Know that Jesus who went to the cross and the grave for us will not abandon us now. We are his and we always will be. 
We call upon him to give us wisdom and strength for these days. We call upon him for hope. We call upon Jesus to show us the ways of love and sacrifice and service. We call on Jesus to save us now and always. Hosanna in the eyes. Amen. Now that the peace of God and the is all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. Okay, we're going to join in singing number 385 in your green temple. What wonders of us.
us pray. Merciful Father, we, we offer with joy and thanksgiving what you have first given us, ourselves, our time, and our possessions. Signs of your gracious love, receive them for the sake of him who offered himself for us. Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.